So we have uh, the team from Sri Lanka here today with us and it's very special because they're actually on home ground, <laughs> right? How does it feel guys to be it's great. competing it's, you know, it's with great. global teams on your home it's territory? Ab it's absolutely great, you know, uh, we saw a lot of talent, that's a very good uh, exposure for us as well. But I'm, I think they'll agree with me as well. Yeah. It was great. So we have Budika here, who's the chef. Um, and Budika, you're a very well-known chef uh, in Sri Lanka. I understand you're the only chef who's travelled to Lyon to, tra uh, to compete right, in the prestigious Bocuse d'Or. And of course, we have Dane here as well, who's been in charge of the mixology. And of course, we have Tilanka here. Tilanka, you, were the, you are the mentor yes. for, for the team. Um, and I know you were working very hard on the concept yes. for the Real High Tea Challenge uh, presentation. Maybe you want to tell us a little bit about that. Uh, sure. So, um, you know, Sri Lanka is known for um, best tea. I mean, Ceylon tea is known everywhere. So um, we, we just didn't want to just present uh, tea only. Uh, we didn't want to make it very traditional. So we wanted to bring a, a different concept in. So we want to, uh, just like Dilma wants to take it, you know, to the next level, just like they want to... Uh, take the tea to to the 21st century. We also thought, you know what? Why don't we do something very different? Why don't we uh, also because the tea part we were very confident. We have the tea, we have the good best tea, but we now wanted to make it global and so many people like you know who who watch this will also understand that uh, the concepts and things like. That. So we went with a very uh, very con not controversial but something very uh, very unique and different. Um, it's it's called the Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, uh, sorry, it's called the Fifty Shades of Tea based on the Fifty Shades of Grey, the novel. So what we did was all our pairings and, you know, all uh, we kept a very romantic touch to the names of the, of the items, uh, even, the, even the pairings, like, you know, we paired with, like, ginger and uh, caramel. I think they'll, they'll definitely talk about the food side more. Yes. But uh, based on the concept, this is, what we, this is the direction we wanted to take, and I think it was a very, 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 very uh, successful. We, 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 achieved, uh, we achieved what we wanted. Okay. And, and Budika, you were, you know, you've been playing with tea a lot. Yes. You know, I've tasted some of your tea menus for the degustation menus in the restaurants that you've worked in. Um, tell us, you know, what are some of the tea discoveries you've had for using tea in cooking uh, while you were practicing for this um, Real High Tea Challenge? Yeah, actually finals. speaking, my favorite tea is Earl Grey. Okay. <laughs> because it gives a, a very high quality uh, richness to the meat. And uh, also, uh, we actually we discovered when we are practicing to this comfort competition mm -hmm. to do the macarons with tea. Okay. Yeah, flavored tea. It's it's it came up with very very nicely. So macarons in uh, tea in macarons. Yes. yes. Wow. Okay, that sounds fabulous. And for Dane, what about you? Uh, actually, my uh, the best. Actually, I'm a mixology. Yes. I'm never uh, mixing on tea. Basically, I would never mix in a tea. Normally, I was mixing only spirits. So, thank God to Delma, I got an opportunity. So, I was mixing this uh, uh, one of my unique, the best cocktail ever I made with tea. It's the uh, what do you call run Yatawata tea, it's smoking. So, it gives a different flavor. Like you blend it with strawberries and brown sugar, mm -hmm. and you top up with the uh, top up with the tea. You give a different. Uh, you cannot imagine it's a different flavor yeah. okay i think so you know, just i'll add one more to it i think even the judges also you know commented on on this particular mocktail and especially the macaroon okay. oh it was you know it just became a hit just like this yeah. instantly, instantly it became a hit <laughs> so what you know after going through all the effort and and you know the competition what do you think your chances are <laughs> we have, I think we have already won. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I, I said I think we have already won. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.